trying to help rebuild the fish population and the kelp crop. Good. That's right. We're all in favor of kelp. Absolutely. Aren't we? You don't eat kelp, do you? It's sold in, in uh, health food stores. No, but I, no I don't mean people don't. I mean you specifically don't. Oh, eat kelp, I, do I, I I have not much kelp in my diet. Well, <laughs> and and that may explain a lot of things. <laughs> yes, I'm I'm under kelp. It's it's plain to see. I would have been a lot taller if I'd eaten it. <laughs> <laughs> and you would have too, fellow. Darn right. <laughs> At 11 o'clock, the rain has already started. It's really sprinkly light rain, but it's here nonetheless, and it's a little bit early. I thought it might hold off until after midnight, but here she is. Light rain, 50 degrees, 86 percent relative humidity. The wind's out of the west at 7 and the barometric pressure is rising now at 30.12. And the sooner we get this in, maybe the quicker we can get it out of here. Okay, let's look at the almanac and find out about the temperature range today in our high and low department. 62 and 47 is what we actually achieved today. The normals would be 65 and 47 and the record high is a 90 from 1969. Yes, there are a few 90s in the month of May and 1969 was, as I remember, a rather warm May here. As you see in our satellite photograph tonight, or rather our, our other we'll look at the satellite. Well, these are the other highs around the state. And I want to touch on that quickly because you can see 50s and 60s, and I can't really see much improvement tomorrow. If anything, I think temperatures down around Toledo and Portland will cool a bit rather than everybody warming to that point. East of the Cascades, not too much effect tomorrow, but they'll be cooling a little bit and then rebounding, I think, rather nicely for the weekend. So it doesn't look like a lost cause, but we do have an upper level low, and it's circling around here. There's now a center off the coast, and that's bringing this moisture band towards us. And it doesn't have the strength of a winter or fall storm. It's really getting pretty late in the, in the season. It really isn't in the storm season anymore. But nonetheless, it's got summer cooler air in it, and that'll probably drop our snow levels down to around 4,500 feet by Friday and Saturday. And then they'll increase, and we'll see it, it will we'll rise rather over the weekend, and I think we'll see improvement. That's the basic thing. Some rain to start the weekend, but improvement as it goes on. So let's check the forecast first for tonight in the area. And we're talking about clouds and light rain with temps in the 40s. For tomorrow, Friday looks like kind of a wet day. There'll be some showers or occasional light rain. The highs will be mid-50s to low 60s. And here's how I call it for the next five days. Days. I think we'll see uh, temperatures on Saturday about the same as on Friday. It may not be too much sun Saturday because I think we'll still have a good deal of onshore flow, the air, cool, moist air coming off the ocean. But Sunday, that influence will be diminishing, and Monday, I think, will be in quite good shape. And by Tuesday, when we're all back at work, things will be probably the best day of the five. But I don't think it's a washout for, mem for Memorial Day. And in eastern Washington, there'll be 60s and 70s by Sunday and Monday. Well, even in the rain, people will get out there and barbecue that kelp. That's it, right. It'll be delicious. That's right. Be delicious a little sauce on smells it smells just like home very very good. kelp cooking in the backyard my mouth is watery now <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> have you people figured this program out yet